15-year-old Lila Banks vanished from her Los Angeles apartment in the early hours of July 6th after arguing with her mom about cleaning her room. I felt horrible about everything. I felt no one was there. I didn't want to, like, confront it. So I was, like, balling it up, and I was like, I can't. So I just went out the door. I thought she'd been abducted. I immediately started freaking out, and I called the police. They got here fairly fast. I asked them to trace her phone. Right off the bat, he goes, unfortunately, I can't do that. I'm like, but why can't you do that? She's missing. And in that moment, they were just not listening to me. They didn't even offer an Ebony Alert. They just said, we can't do an Amber Alert. Ebony Alert is designed for situations like this. California rolled it out statewide earlier this year. It aims to help find missing black youth. 16% of children in the U.S. are black, but they make up 22% of missing child cases. While it's possible to qualify for more than one alert, Lila was not eligible for an Amber Alert because that requires confirmation that an abduction has happened. But according to her mom, she met the criteria for an Ebony Alert as a black 15-year-old with low blood sugar who had gone missing under unexplained circumstances. Latanya reached out to the Doc Ellis Foundation, a nonprofit providing education and resources to families of missing people of color. She had some screenshots from law enforcement where she was begging them to ping the phone and give her an Amber Alert. And I said, stop calling them and say an Amber Alert. Call back and say Ebony. And she said, well, what is that? Advocates say for families in these situations, an Ebony Alert can help ensure law enforcement is taking their case seriously. Almost 30 hours without an Ebony Alert. And as soon as she got the alert, two hours later, they pinged the phone. And maybe about an hour later, we were able to bring her home. According to Jasmine, the Ebony Alert is a powerful tool, but it works most effectively when organizations like hers partner with law enforcement and can advocate for more resources for families. The LAPD told NBC that initially, Lila's case did not indicate that the specific criteria for an Ebony Alert were met and that the decision to eventually issue one was based on the evolving situation and not the involvement of the Doc Ellis Foundation. Unlike Amber Alert, Ebony Alerts don't send notifications to your phone. They're posted on the California Highway Patrol's social media pages. Here's the thing. You're given the alert, you're posting it on social media, but who in my community is following CHP's website? It's not coming on the phones, and it's not coming out on a billboard, so nobody is aware of that alert. When you compare the Ebony Alert to the Amber Alert, Totally different. They're going to get billboard. Everybody's phone's going to go off. We're all going to know. It automatically triggers media. And with that partnership of the Amber Alert, your law enforcement get training. I don't think they thought of ongoing training when they put out the Ebony Alert. Would you say it's been a success thus far? I would have to. This is the man responsible for the Ebony Alert, State Senator Stephen Bradford. Many times when young black kids disappeared, they're labeled as runaways. He first proposed the Ebony Alert bill in the spring of 2023. Governor Gavin Newsom signed it into law the following October. As of September 20th, 31 Ebony Alerts have been issued. 27 people have been located. That's what our biggest challenge is, is making law enforcement aware of it. In your mind, is there a timeline where law enforcement has to kind of get up to speed and make sure things are running as they should. I would like to have had them up to speed on day one. We're gonna to have to continue to put pressure on it, not only just from elected officials, but like I say, from community-based organizations, governmental agencies as well, to make sure that this tool is used. When law enforcement doesn't use the tools that they have, is there anything in place for them to get any kind of repercussions? Not specifically with this bill, but I would hope internally that you would have management and leadership in those agencies asking the question of why didn't you trigger this alert? Or why didn't you do so and so? NBC News asked the California Highway Patrol directly about Ebony Alert's rollout and if there were plans to improve training for law enforcement. A spokesperson replied saying they work with investigators to determine if a case meets the criteria to activate an Ebony Alert. What gives you faith that law enforcement can carry this out in a fair and just way? We'd hope that those good men and women in law enforcement will outweigh those bad ones who choose to ignore and use race and all those other biases that we've seen throughout time. Despite Ebony Alert's challenges, other states are considering adopting it too. So you walked all the way down here from, from your house? Yeah. 
This is where Leela was found, on Skid Row, one of the most dangerous parts of Los Angeles. Does it evoke any feelings for you? Yeah. Like what kind of feelings? A little pain. Since then, Leela started seeing a counselor. How would you put into words how you're feeling now? I feel better. I don't feel alone. A little anxious, a little anxious. Would you have found your daughter without the Ebony Alert? No, no, no. I don't think they would have ever traced her phone. I don't know how I ever would have found it. So do you feel as though the Ebony Alert worked as it should? Yes, I really do. It was the police who didn't work, as they should. One of the things that stuck out to me is the fact that Latanya stayed up for 37 hours, right? So she was committed. She knew about it. In situations where they don't know about Doc Ellis, they don't know about the Ebony Alert, what happens? Nothing. Um, they get a police report number. They go into the database, and that's it. You just finally are like, okay, well, we have one home. And then, okay, great, they're home. And then you have to go immediately to next phase because what happened that made you walk out the door?